Innovate Breakfast Digibytes, creating a remote learning timetable in Canvas. Hi everyone, this is Heather and today we're going to look at how you can create a timetable in your Canvas course for your remote learning. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we're going to need to create a page. So here I am in my modules and I'm just going to go on the plus button to one of my modules and I'm going to create a page. So I'm going to click the plus button, use the drop down menu, select page, new page and call this page um, what I want to call it. So in this case, remote learning timetable. And then I'm just going to add this item. I'm also going to make sure that I publish my module and my page as well so that it's available for students. OK, so um, I'm going to click on the title and open up my, my page. And uh, when this is open, what I need to do is edit the page. So I'm going to click on edit. And what I'm going to do is just give my page a name. So I'm just going to put that in there, remote learning timetable highlight it and I'm going to use uh, the headings okay so I can uh, make that nice and obvious okay and then I'm also just going to put the the first week in there so that their students know exactly what they they are doing for that week okay so what we're going to do to create a timetable is use a table so a tables are located in the text editor so I'm going to click on table and we're just going to select the amount of rows and um, columns that we need we can always um, change this later on it's not a problem. We can add or take away columns. There we go. So um, here I'm going to put my date, my session, whether it's live lesson or not. And then I'm going to put in my activities. So essentially students can uh, see what they need to do for the live lesson, but also they can engage with the activities outside of class as well. OK, so I'm going to put my date in there. So I might have a number of different sessions on the same day or you might have different groups. OK, so I'm just going to make this super obvious which session this is for, so the learners know exactly what they need to do. Uh, for the live lesson, I'm just going to tell them, you know, they might need to use a conference or there might be a link there for a Teams meeting. OK, but I'm just going to give them instructions to go to Canvas conferences for that live lesson. So for my starter, um, I'm going to have an activity for them to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the links down at the side of this page. OK, and these will link off to different activities in Canvas. So I'm going to link this to a discussion that I've already set up as my starter activity for that session. And then in my resources, you can put in whatever you need to put in here. Uh, you can put in files, you can put in links to other parts of the Canvas course um, using that links icon. But I'm just going to just add in some resources here. Um, this isn't definite. You can sort of obviously um, structure this timetable how you think it works best for you. But the key thing is to make it super obvious what the learners are doing for that session. OK, so again, I've added a, a plenary here. I'm going to put like a Canvas quiz in there. And for the main task, um, I'm going to um, set them a Canvas assignment. OK, so there's an assignment in there that they need to, to complete. OK, so basically what I've done is I've set my timetable up, I've put my dates in, I've put my sessions in, and then I've added in my links to my activities so that the students know exactly what they need to do. And again, you can populate that um, as, you, as you wish. You know, you can add in things like um, Teams meeting links in there as well, using the Canvas um, Teams meetings um, integration. Um, and you can also um, link it to any other activities. So if you set up things in pages, like, for example, you might have set up external tools, you know, links off to other uh, types of uh, software, such as, you know, Flipgrid, Quizlet, etc. Um, you can link off to, to those activities if you've set them up in, in pages. So um, this is how you set up your timetable. And essentially, you can see, see what it looks like. OK, so we're going to basically... Uh, save this page and then what we're going to do is I'm just, the last thing I'm just to show you is how you can actually set this up um, as, a, as a home page. OK, so we're going to save the page. OK, and then what we're going to do, as you can see, there are my activities. OK, I'm quite happy with that. And obviously you can populate that a, a, as you wish. OK, so to set this up as a home page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the three dots at the top of this page. And then the three dots will allow me to actually set this as a front page. OK, so I've used this front page. OK, you have to set this up first. And then in your in your home, so if you click on home, um, this will now take me uh, to my home page. And as you can see at the side, there is actually an option that says choose home page. OK, so this allows you to set whether you want it to be a page like this one we've just set up. So the page is front page or you can set up, for example, your modules, etc. OK, 
but now I've chosen that as my home page that is my that is my home page so this is the very very first thing that learners will see when they click on this course okay so this is, so you can add this table to to an existing home page um, so if you've already got one set up with all the information, the course information, you can just add a table at the bottom. Um, so you can always, you can set that up. Um, and it's basically, it's it's really kind of up to you how you structure it. But the key thing is make sure it is super obvious what your learners are clicking on, what activities they've got to do. Um, you can add in things like learning outcomes, etc. to that table. Um, but that's the kind of the basic structure um, that you can then use. OK, I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.